Yo, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial guys, I will be showing you how to hide add to cart button from your store in WooCommerce Webs WordPress website. First of all guys, I will need you to go to your WordPress dashboard. So from there guys, we will start our tutorial. Basically what you need to do is pretty simple. Go to your dashboard, plugins, add new, import it from here, or just go and search it in the store or the marketplace. Here it is. And from here guys, just click on install now. And then when it's fully installed, click on activate. Now, when you activate it, what you'll have to do is pretty simple. Click on installed plugins. And from there guys, I will need you to search in here or in active section for WooCommerce. So here it is, I have it activated. If it doesn't appear for you in here, go to inactive section and search for it over here, activate it and update it. Now, when you finish with that, refresh the page and you will notice that there is some other section that has been added to your WordPress website or menu. Now, how we can actually hide the cart button in our website? That's pretty easy. Go to your user blog, visit store and then open it. Here it is, the add to cart button, or here it is. So how we can actually remove it? It's pretty simple. We can remove it, for example, using the HTML code. So if I went here, I want to view page source or like some inspect. So let's use inspect. And I clicked on this element, the page inspected. So I click on this one and I hover over this button. I can just go, for example, in a way over here, maybe let's try this one. So here it is, display none. So let's make the display none. And here it is. So I have removed it from here. Now, when you finish with that, of course, you know, guys, this inspect only stays up when you refresh the page. So when you refresh the page, it will go back. So how we can make it permanent? I know, guys. So all you need to do is make sure that it is displayed none. Then go ahead and copy all of this. Copy C. Then go to customize and basically guys what you need to do is additional CSS, go here, paste it and click on publish. And normally guys if you have like kind of like paid as you can see here, so I have published it. Now I have no longer appearing add to cart button as you can see over here and even if i have refresh it will not be appearing in here so yeah guys that was it for today's video if you enjoyed please leave a like and thank you guys for watching